So, this is something new that I want to try out. Um, I've been working on a new set of acoustic songs to play solo in, in little pubs or whatever venues that are appropriate for this. And I've been working through them, rehearsing them, and feeling a little bit lonely. So I thought, maybe I should do these rehearsals while broadcasting them live. So there you go. So, this first song, I already forgot the name. You're with me.
So this is this was a new song, relatively new, wrote a few months ago. Sort of planning on putting on the next album. So if you just joined, this is just a live rehearsal of stuff that I'm working on. Um, the next one I wanted to play is sort of an unfinished song, um, but I'm trying to play it as much as possible to try to finish it. Um, I don't remember which, you know. Hey, Frederick, ça va? Chouette que tu sois là. Arnaud aussi. So this this song is sort of unfinished. Now the temporary title is called Tidal Wave. Fading, 
this is sort of where I got with the song. Um, I guess it's 70% there. Still need to find a whole you know, <laughs> last part to it. Um, probably just write some lyrics and repeat a few things. This was you know, Tidal Wave. Um, hey, Eric. Thanks for joining. Um, so if you just joined now, this is just a rehearsal that I'm doing because I'm trying to uh, prepare myself again for solo gigs and um, not messing around too much, but being focused. So this is part of that effort, and thanks for being there. This one is called Careless.
So that was careless. Hey, Scott, thanks for joining. That's a great comment, Frederick. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. So this next one is, is called Us Away, and it's um, the last song on my solo album that I sort of brought out 12, 13 years ago. Um, and I'm learning it again. So it might go well, might not go well. Part of rehearsal. This is called Us Away. sort of the downsides of playing with your nails if you don't really buff them that well sometimes they sort of catch on the string I've tried other things but it never feels as good as playing with your nails I say life is made for Time goes quicker when I see you, but the dawn will chase you away for much too long. You've got it all. That song was Us Away from this last song on my solo album. Oh, Scott, you're putting acrylic on your 
picking nails? That's an interesting idea. I'll have to look that up. Um, I'll ask you which which brand or something, or we'll we'll touch base. Um, private messaging so you can give me all the gory details of that. So let me quickly switch guitars here. So this one, you know, for the musicians on the amongst us, this one is tuned in open C. Um, it's a guitar that's been with me for 20 years. I um, really like the dark tone of it. I'm going to switch another one who's, that's supposed to be tuned in standard, but I didn't check it today. close enough. This is a song I think wrote last year, a little bit more up-tempo. And so one of the things I'm doing here is part of the rehearsal. Um, I've got this, I don't know if you can see it, this tom pedal here that makes a kick sound and I'm still trying to sort of learn how to do that while singing and playing the guitar. So if that's off a little bit, it's part of rehearsing. Plug that back in. fever. You could be the one, the one who understands, the one who never has to run, the one who holds my hand even when it is wrong, who makes me Somehow I feel that it's over when I'm not holding your hand. Somehow I feel that it's over when I'm not holding your hand. You could be the sign.
But this song is Somehow I Fear. Yeah, Eric, this is like a stomp. It's, it's actually, you know, stomp box pedals. This is before they became digital and you sort of they turn into um, foot pedals for all kinds of uses. There is a category, and I discovered this a couple of months ago, a category of pedals that basically has a piezo or whatever other microphone built into it. And so the actual kick on the pedal itself is, is translated directly into sound. And you just plug it in with a guitar cable. Um, and it allows you to make kick, kick drum sounds. Um, I'm, I'm really trying to get that integrated into my songs. It's not always easy because you have to you know, come up with interesting rhythms and not do the same sort of, like what I just did in the last song, the same beat through the whole song. If you do that on every song, it gets kind of boring. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of figuring out how to best do that. Merci, Frédéric. C'est surtout, je crois, quand je, quand je fais les accords um, que le kick peut être plus fort. Mais c'est un peu difficile quand je suis seul avec les leçons. Um, effectivement, il peut peut-être être un peu plus fort. Attends, je vais, je vais l'apprendre. Voilà, ça devrait être un peu mieux. So this is a completely different style. Yeah, Eric, I didn't know that existed either.
Frederick. So I'm gonna call it like a day for this sort of trial. Let me know if you like this, um, if you thought this was you know, enjoyable, and if I should do this again. I think I will do it again at least a few more times to, you know, for myself, for the rehearsal part of it. Um, but if if you like it, you know, share my page, share this video once it's uploaded. Um, and you know, check out my songs. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>